Yo, Logan Abrams with Remax Executive. Thanks for hanging out with me today for our monthly market minute. Wanted to talk today about new construction. A lot of misconceptions out there about buying new construction. So let's go for four things to know when you're buying new construction. First one is have an agent. Why? It doesn't cost anything, doesn't save you anything not to. And there's a lot of good things that come with having an agent. First of all, you get free representation, so why not? Second of all, you get the knowledge and experience of a broker such as myself who's sold over 100 new construction properties. Um, and then you don't have to trust the builder's agent as much just on what they say. You have someone else there to, to talk you through it. And then also walkthroughs and inspections. A, a good knowledgeable agent can help you make sure that they're building the house the way that they're supposed to going forward. Number two, lot selection. You hear in real estate, location, 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 right? That also pertains to in the neighborhood. The lot that you have, is it on a busy street? Do you wanna be close to amenities? Is a cul-de-sac important to you? All those things come into play. I think one of the biggest roles for an agent when selling new construction is to talk their buyers through the lot selection. They get caught up by the house and which floor plan they love, but lot selection really determines a lot about the future value of that house. Number three, Offers and incentives and negotiations. Yes, builders do negotiate, some more than others, and depending on the market and the season, you know, you can think. But there's also, they'll also offer incentives. Sometimes there's realtor-only incentives that I split 50-50 with any of my buyers. But then they also may have special offers about getting different incentives or packages or lot premiums reduced or whatever. So that's, that's a big thing there as well that an agent can really walk you through and know how to ask those questions to the builder themselves. And then number four, just don't get crazy, kids. Don't go overboard at the design center. Don't put $50,000 worth of fancy hardwoods or something into the house. Because when you go to resell, it's hard to think about when you're buying it because you're in love with it and you're building your dream house. But when you go to resell, a lot of those options just don't come back down to the bottom line. So that's our four for the monthly market minute. Make sure you have representation. Do good on the lot selection. Make sure you ask about offers and incentives and any sort of negotiations you can take place. And then just don't get crazy. Thanks a lot.